here at Southern Cal, and then I went back to uh, to work there. And we have that secret thing. We have Spid, the Spid, Gary Frank, and Dennis. Not a secret. <laughs> One of the genuinely fun and funny shows on NBC and network television today is Sanford, and one of its stars is Dennis Berkeley. And Dennis, uh, I'm interested to know how you got started in this whole thing of acting, how you got the role on Sanford. Let's begin there. How I got the role of Sanford. Uh, I did Mary Hartman uh, for Norman Lear, and when we finished that, I did a show called Hanging In, which did not. And uh, <laughs> it's uh, on another network, so that's okay that it didn't hang in. Uh, but from that, I was offered my own show. I was offered a pilot from, from my own show from several sources, Warner Brothers, Norman Lear, and uh, Marble Arts, Sir Luke Gray. And so I went with Tana because I've been with them so long, and they offered me Schiller and Weisskopf, which are some of the best writers that are mm -hmm. around. They were right on the family. Uh, and then all of a sudden there was a Red Fox show, and they said, would you like to do the show uh, for 14 weeks sold as opposed to a pilot? Well, I never worked 14 weeks of my life on anything, <laughs> so I said, sure. And that's how I did it. I've been doing it, and now we're going to do it again with feeling. Indeed. Uh, tell us a bit about uh, your background in terms of where you grew up and up and up and uh, where you went to school and that sort of thing. Well, I was an Air Force brat, so we traveled around a whole lot. I was born in, uh, in Van Nuys, California, but we split when I was six months old. And uh, then I traveled all over the world. I lived in Japan for three years. Mm. But mainly I lived in Texas, uh, between Dallas and Fort Worth, a place called Grand Prairie which is the Grand Prairie Gophers. <laughs> did, you, did you play uh, sports or football? Or I played football uh, one year in college uh, at Arlington State, which is uh, now University of Texas Arlington. Sure. Um, I found it to be very painful. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I, I had, I you would play get safety? Out, actually, believe it or not, I played fullback. I was uh, much, uh, much leaner then. <laughs> uh, I... Uh, uh, but I would get out of football practice at 6 o'clock or 7. I have a rehearsal for a play at 7.30, and I get out of there at 11. So one of them had to go, and it was a hell of a lot less painful to stand up on stage than it was to have somebody beat your brains out. Yeah. Speaking of uh, being on stage, you're on stage now with Red Fox and the rest of the cast of Sanford. So it seems like you have a lot of fun doing the show. Well, it seems that way, but we're really miserable up there. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I just... Uh, I just put up with it because NBC pays me a lot of money. <laughs> That's the only reason. <laughs> no, no, we do have a lot of fun. Uh, I've got the best job in television, in my opinion, because I get paid very well. I work in front of a live audience. I have a three-camera show, which means that I don't have to come in at 5 o'clock in the morning for makeup. We come in at 10 a.m. We're out by 4 in the afternoon. Wow. Uh, on Friday, we'd come in at 1.30. And we tape, you know, and we're out by 10 or 11 o'clock at night. So it's not, this is a, when you work in a series like Lobo, let's say, or, mm -hmm. or one of those, you, you work a lot of hours. You're putting in 14, 15 hours a day. So I've got it, I've got it knocked as far as the business so, goes. How do, you, uh, how do you talk about the relationship between you and Red Fox on the set and uh, in the show? Red and I are, uh, are uh, friends on and off. Uh, he's... Uh, He's, uh, it sounds corny, but he's like my father. I mean, I really love the man. Uh, he's black, but I mean, you know, he can't, he can't help that. Uh, I can't help being white. <laughs> <laughs> and the only one on the show. <laughs> That's right, the token white. Uh, now, we get along great on and off the set, thank God, uh, because it would be a miserable situation. I've worked with a lot of people that are difficult, and, uh, and it's, this is so nice to come to work. He can drive me crazy. But he'll come in and say one line and just lay me out, and that's it. And we're back together again. Well, your show lays up in laughter a lot of our viewers, and we look forward to seeing you again this fall. Thank you. Dennis yeah. Berkeley, this is Frank Bassoni in Los Angeles. Frank Bassoni. Is that Italian? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Half, anyway. Can't help yeah, that. Can't help me in that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank Pleasure. you.